Oke okay, teman-teman, sekarang kita akan pergi ke toko halal lagi yang bernama Islamic Place. Ini adalah salah satu toko halal yang ngetop di Philadelphia. Dan katanya mereka mempunyai online store loh. Jadi bisa ke online untuk beli baju-baju dan barang-barang lain yang di Islamic Place. So, let's check it out and find out what's there. Oke okay, pemirsa kita masih jalan-jalan di West Philadelphia yang disebut sebagai Muslim Town dan Anda bisa lihat nih budaya Islam tuh sangat kerasa ya di sini sebagai contoh di kanan saya nih ada Al Sham yaitu restoran Middle Eastern ada kebab ada juga res, ada juga makanan-makanan Amerika seperti pizza yang burger dan halal semua dan di kanan saya juga ada Alminar Books dan Fashion. Dan of course di sini saya datang ke sini untuk melihat salah satu toko yang sudah serve komunitas Muslim di Philadelphia yang sangat terkenal di sini bernama Islamic Place. Wow. Dan dulu katanya buka 24 jam tapi sekarang katanya karena pandemi dan hal-hal lain mereka harus motong waktunya menjadi hanya 7 jam. Jadi kita masuk dulu ya dan ketemu dengan pemilik ya. Mari. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. Welcome to the Islamic Place. Thank you so much for having me. So this is your store, right? Yes, I'm yes. the manager here. Wow, perfect. When well, it's a big store, I didn't realize how big it is because online doesn't seem that big <laughs> from the pictures. But wow, this is amazing. You want to show us around? Sure. Yeah. Um, actually, this is something that gradually grew. Mm -hmm. uh, my father is the founder. He started it back in 1989 out oh. from the sidewalk. 1989. Just That's the more than 30 years ago. 33 years ago. 33 years ago. Exactly. Wow. Yeah. And I guess, do you mind if I take off my mask? Oh, You're yes, vaccinated, yes. right? Fully vaccinated. Boosted. Okay, cool. Yeah, wow. 33 years of yeah. just you guys, like your whole family, just yes. chipping in and helping at the store. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it has been 22 years at this location. Okay. Uh, before that, there were multiple other steps. Oh, wow. Yeah. 22 years in this one particular location. Yes. Amazing. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Yes, alhamdulillah. And so, <laughs> what do we have over here on the right side? So here, um, we have a collection of fragrances uh, curated from different countries. Okay. India, uh, Saudi Arabia, UAE. Mm -hmm. Uh, we try to bring a collection that's not normally uh, available in the American market. Okay, right. And what would be your favorite ones, if you don't want me asking? Mumtaz. Mumtaz. Yes. What are Mumtaz? Is that... Mumtaz, uh, in Arabic, basically it means the best or excellent. Oh, okay. The best and excellent. Yeah. And I see that you have some interesting ones, like you have mango butter and you, you also have Michelle Obama. Yes. <laughs> what, what, what smell is that, if you don't want me asking? Uh, well, um, there are certain fragrances that are made here locally. Right. Michelle Obama is one of those that's mm. uh, manufactured by the factories here. Okay. But even uh, something more important than Michelle Obama is the Barack Obama. Although <laughs> Michelle sells more than Barack. Really? Yes. But uh, and it's also hidden more than Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> the Barack Obama. One. <laughs> that's interesting. And so these are all like. Uh, homemade and imported, right? From like not the, homemade, not but homemade. Um, they are all halal, where mm. there's no alcohol. No alcoholic in there. It's for the Muslim market. Right, right, yeah. for sure. And over here, you have lotions and everything. Is this? And I'm assuming these are all halal as yes, well. Yes, they're all certified halal. Okay, and these are imported from different countries. So. Uh, yes, the raw materials for the <laughs> the shea butter comes from Ghana, from Africa. Oh wow! And some of them are actually um, mixed here, locally. Oh, okay, along they're with mixed other here. Ingredients, oh, yes. Amazing, amazing! Wow. Which one are the Ghana ones? If you don't want me asking. This one right here. This. This is the original Ooh. shea butter, and then the raw African shea butter. Amazing! Wow, that is cool. All right, and you have some dates as well. Yes, dates and zamzam. That's uh, basically <laughs> the fruit, the food that we do carry here. Oh, really? There's zamzam yes. water. Yes. Wow. Do you mind if I hold it? Yeah, sure. Pemirsa saya lihat ada air zamzam juga dijual dari Saudi Arabia. Wow, this is amazing. We have a, a large assortment of scarves mm -hmm. um, catering to all tastes. 
of right. the, the sisters. Wow, so many different colors. It's like yes. a little rainbow over here. Exactly. Look at that, Marisa. So the majority of these are? Yes, 90% of the selection that we carry for sisters mm -hmm. is all our own brand. Oh, amazing, amazing, wow. Wah, lihat deh pemirsa sampai yang perempuan aja bagus banget tuh. Di jeansnya ada patternnya tuh sampai kayak gitu. Emang modern banget betul kata dia. Saya suka deh karena pemilik ownernya memang bikin ingin bikin Islam lebih approachable dan juga accessible untuk semua orang juga bikin lebih modern. So the section that we're entering into now, it, we call it the men's section right. and the books collection. Okay. So the books uh, department is in the center of the right hall. Right there. Everybody you can see, there's the book section. There's so many different books. Thousands of titles, mm -hmm. um, all pretty much in English. No, Most 90% of, of, of them are in English. English. Is there a particular reason uh, why 90% of them are English? Well, the market that we cater to living in Philadelphia, they're mostly English-speaking Muslims. Ah. Majority of them are converts. Ah, I did not know that. Are they like mostly African Americans who live in the area? Yes. Ah, I see. Quranic studies. You're right. About salat and prayers. I see step-by-step -step guide for men and women. Prayer for beginners. So I could see the market is like most of them for converts around the area. I see learning Quran. And you also have some kids section over there. Oh yeah, there. there's a whole aisle for kids. It is vital for us to start our uh, mm -hmm. next generation. Right, of course. Learning the basics of Islam from early on. And this is the book section that we cater to for the Ah, audience. Yeah, Pamirsa. The miracles of Allah. It's also like colored and everything. It's yeah. beautiful. Wow. And I want to see some men's clothes, yeah, because these look cool. Actually, this selection here, this just recently came in. They're uh, wool, 100% wool. Oh, so, this, the material is wool. nice. Yeah. Oh, it's a hoodie too. It is. Oh, yo, look at this, Fumirsa. This play here also. And this is from the uh, IBM? Is, wait, what's the uh, production? No, no. Oh, this these are, these are new. Production. Okay. That is our own branding is Ibn Amin, this brand. Whoa, look at this. It looks like a sports looks like a sports gear with a hoodie as well. This is a very modern take yeah. on Islamic clothing. Is there a particular reason you choose to create well, these? Islam is very adaptive to right. the needs of the time mm. and the different cultures. So as such, these fulfill the Islamic need right. to be properly covered. But as well as being so modern yes. so that people my age or maybe like slightly older are like, oh, this is cool, this is unique, this is different. I like it though, I, I really like and it. it. 